Now that I've made a selection with my lasso tool, I can fill, I can either erase what's inside the selected area or I can fill it really fast. So um, if I switch my foreground color and my background color, then I'll have white in the foreground. And whatever's in the foreground is the one that you can use to fill this um, selected area. So if you hit option delete, it fills it with the foreground color. Um, Photoshop will fill the selection with the foreground color. So another thing you can use is the polygonal lasso tool, which does straight sides. I don't really have any objects in here that can benefit from it, but if you just find it easier to draw with the um, polygonal lasso tool, it's click, draw, um, click, move, click, move, click. And if you saw how, as I neared the place where I started, a little circle appeared, and that means you've closed it. You don't have to go all the way around. For example, if I deselect Control D or Command D on a Mac, I can try it again, click, 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 and then stop, and then hit enter, and then it closes the gap for you. Um, in this case, though, I, I do want to go all the way around and get the whole basket. This is a little bit different than how the book did it. Um, I found it, it just worked better if I do a combination. You don't have to use one tool, you can definitely um, it's better to use many tools together, whatever works the best, whatever's fastest. Um, so, for example, the wand tool is really good at selecting one color, and I think by default it was like at tolerance at 15, and um, what you can do is if you hold option, you get a little minus symbol, and so if I click within my selection, I can subtract from my selection to remove more of the background further. Now at this point in time, I can zoom in, grab my hand tool to move across, and, and see if I need to go into the refine edge mode and, and fix this part. Um, let's see. Refine edge. Smart edge detection. Yeah, it definitely helps. I pumped it up to 20 like with in the earlier situation. In this case, I don't really want to use that brush because I want to keep all the way in here. And I think I'm actually going to increase my contrast. That's helping. Maybe not. I seem to be losing the area right there. Maybe shift edge a little more, like so. Smoothing seems to help. Anyway, you can just play with this. Refine edge is really cool. I think it's fun how you used to be able to have to do all this manually. Um, now you, the computer does it for you for the most part. And hit OK. And that's my selection. If you wanted to add a little bit more, you could either draw it in with a lasso tool. And um, to add to a selection, you hold shift. Let's see, I can draw in a little bit more. A little bit more here. I'm holding shift the whole time. And if you want to subtract from a selection, you hold option or alt on a PC is alt, option on a Mac. And that's another way to add and subtract from selections. Um, or to make selections, to use different tools together and add and subtract from selections. And then at this point, I can grab, get, grab my move tool and move the basket over. Oh, one thing I did was since I swapped my foreground and my, uh, my foreground and my background, then now it's filling that area with black. So I'm going to go back in time, one step, control Z and then switch my foreground. The shortcut for that is X. So if I hit X on my keyboard, it goes back and forth. So make sure that white is in the background again, and then move the basket. 